Anyway, so hello and welcome back to my geology channel. So today we're going to have a look at a book that you can find about uh, places you can go to around Australia. They should be easily accessible and it's in this thick book by Russell Ferret. Okay. So as you can see it's quite a thick book. It is uh, about 370 376 pages so if uh, in front of it there's the 12 apostles then we have some other places which I am not familiar with and on the back we have some other places like one of them might be a Gleiser although we don't have those in Australia you have to go to New Zealand so we'll uh, just uh, go through a few pages and we'll just have a look Okay, so the actual book. So I got this from the library. Yes, sometimes, like once or twice a year, do you go to the library? And this has 200 amazing geosites. And if we look in it, it lists them all down here, the actual geosites. And you can purchase this book for $35. And this one is, okay, it's got information. And here's a list of all the actual places on the map. The first one you've got limestone and as you can see all this just gives a brief de definition because it wants to get most information into the actual book so uh where am i up to oh yeah i'm up to barren river and as you can see okay here exposed on the ground scale is a classic heavyweight conflict running water versus granite so uh, this should be a granite outcrop. River running over granite seldom never develops vertical waterfalls. The 264 high barren falls, a braided mix of steep incline segments, sluggish pools, and tumbling rapids. So it's instead of it being vertical like that, it's um, horizontal, it's uh, vertical. So basically that's what that is and it gives it where it is on the map and that's brisbane and then on the other page we have a another place but in a different locality so this is in tasmania so and it has a few colored photos okay then we go to page 68 chila goo marble so it gives a rock type then we have uh, another place in Western Australia, China Wall. So it uh, looks like limestone. Uh, okay, it's a quartz dike. So from the photos, you can't really tell. But from the fracturing, it doesn't look like it fractures like limestone. Okay, then we've got Fraser Island. Yeah, that's a well-known place. Here's information about the actual geological context. Uh, Lake Mungo. So... Not only a geological feature, but this also has, in the lunettes, it has uh, Aboriginal burials from about, I think about 20 to 30,000 years ago. Okay, does it have any information here? Okay, it says contained permanent water 15,000 years ago. Okay, it doesn't have anything about Mungo man or Mungo woman. So obviously they're limiting the context in which they uh, actually talk about this geological formation or landscape or geography. Okay, then we go, okay, nature's window. Okay, Kalbari. And it gives information. Okay, the natural window is not far out of town. Yeah, but... Okay, the sandstone was laid down during thousands of major flooding events about four to five hundred million years ago so during the Silurian to Ordovician to Cambrian. Okay, so it might contain fossils in it if it's a yeah, shallow tidal sea. It might have eurypterids, uh, ediasteroids, probably more than likely trilobites and brachiopods. Probably a lot of organisms that have it, uh, whose entire families have become extinct. 
Okay, then we've got the red rock. That's in Victoria. So this should be volcanic. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's a ma. So it looks like a ma. So you've got the scoria around the side. And you've got the ma volcano. Obviously you've got a few where the water seeped down. Interacted with the magma and it just exploded because of the pressure. Okay, and then we've got other ones. And we've got some in the actual rock. Okay, and got another one that says rock. Uh, this looks like sedimentary. Uh, all ruins, Central Australia, so blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're part of Lachlan Fold Belt. 440, 420 million years ago. Uh, yeah, it says it's granite. Could be granite. Um, yeah, but I haven't actually read about it. Anyway, it's got anticlinic yeah, sedimentary. Okay, and then we got oh, good a one about fossils. So, uh, this is just good for a summary. So, has references as well, which geological survey organization. Okay, maybe I would actually look up the actual references. Arrow Plenty Regional Library. So basically, if you're interested in just starting out, or even if you don't know about different places in Australia, you can go because most of these I don't know. I've probably read about the geology, but I've read about specific sites where you can see that geology. Uh, so, quite frankly, I'm going to purchase this book for thirty-five bucks because. It's good for when you go out around Australia and you can just look up this book and just uh, pick a site you actually want to go that's close by. Anyway, let me know what you think. And specifically, can you leave a comment down below? Let me know if you have any books or references about the geology in your area that you actually like. Anyway, thank you and goodbye.